What's up, guys? All right, guys, the Parkers are on the go again. again. You've seen the reviews. Well, today it's time for us to try it out for ourselves. So we're on this quick little three day, two night excursion on Margaritaville at sea. The paradise. Let's find out if we are gonna be on paradise because it's five o'clock somewhere and let's see how many Jimmy Buffett quotes we can find throughout the cruise on the ship. That's a good idea. So let's do it. Let's so do it. So are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I think they're ready. It's cruise day, baby, let's go. Let's go. to check in. Um, we dropped our bags and went through security already. So now we're upstairs on the second level to actually check in. We have faster to chill. So hopefully this process will be smooth. Okay. Well, this is what's popping up. Yeah. Okay. Right here, activity schedule. And then it'll show you everything that's going on on the ship. Gotcha. Okay, thank you. So once you get past the shore excursion desk, we do all your bookings for anything you didn't do online. You come into the VIP lounge if you have like faster chill or um, any of the other VIP license to chill. But there's also faster chill. That's what is we it have. Faster chill? Yes. They really need to differentiate their names. We have faster chill. Faster chill. Yes. So you can actually come in, get snacks, and wait lounge in this area instead of waiting out in the general area. And you get these nice VIP. These sweet, sweet, sweet <laughs> VIP, sweet bracelets. VIP bracelets. <laughs> so they have some cranberry juice, pastry. Oh no. <laughs> they have a little sandwich. So there's some nice options. I'm pretty hungry, so I might take advantage of it. Would you like a 
vegetarian sandwich or no. a cookie or pastry or a muffin. They have sticky buns. What would you like, dear? I don't know. I mean, it's always, it's freeze. It doesn't look good to me. I wouldn't eat it. Oh. Well, you're just mad because you can't have them. Um, I'll take a cookie. The French and the cranberry juice and the decaf and regular coffee. Uh, go ahead and get me one of those uh, vegetarian sandwiches. A bottle of water? Would you like sure. One? Why not? Cheryl, would you like a bottle of water? <laughs> we can't afford it. I say, yeah, you gotta speak it into existence. Alright, so this is. So this is the rest of the room. No need for a fancy tour. So breakout room. And then uh, here's your t here's your view while you're waiting for uh, to be called on the ship. Um, it is now what time? It is now twelve o'clock on the dock. Okay. So I will be transparent. We did take our time and go through some of the, like the lines for the excursions. We looked at the drink package. We looked at um, reservations for dinner. So we did take take our time and look through some options. But the actual process to check in was super quick. I think less than ten minutes, ten to fifteen minutes. We were checked in. So I will say that is a plus. So. Um, it is now 12, like we said again, 12 p.m. Um, so these are our snack options. All right, and also, uh, that whole situation with the, like, the especially restaurants and then dining and- All that stuff can be pre-purchased. It's pre-purchased, but it's, it's also kind of like cluster right there. It's like, because I think people are trying to get onto the ship and then, like they have people taking your picture and then you do, do all the, the drinks and the specialty dining and the shore excursions and then people trying to get on the ship so it's really clustered right there it's but really you can avoid all of that by purchasing it so those are for people like us who went to last minute the book stuff we are last minute bookers of things so that situation can be annoying if you book things last minute so I can understand that, um, but if you are bypassing the line, you are ready to board the ship. This is this room. If you buy any of the faster, chill license to chill, any of those things, this room gets you out of that, and you can actually relax, have a snack, have a water, and wait for your time to board. Versus being out there amongst the folks and <laughs> actually waiting and picking out drink packages, soda packages, dining experiences, all that stuff can be done before you go on the ship. So that is a plus. Okay, so try your vegetarian sandwich. This coming from a person who does not eat a lot of vegetables, but getting better at it. I made a mistake. <laughs> Why? It's a vegetarian. I like you stuck that toothpick in my scone situation, but go ahead. You don't even know what it is. It's a sticky bun. That's what, that's what the man says it is. <laughs> oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh no, you okay? All right, so. It was scary, it was a bit scary man taking our ship card and he just stared at me and I got really worried there for a second because he was a large man. Um, but apparently it was a good thing. Yeah. He said, welcome aboard our special YouTuber. Hmm. Okay, so. The war's out. Oh, okay. Oh, it's hot. Yeah. All right, so let's show the gangway. So we're actually going to the ship now. So let's check. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Here. Jesus. <laughs> it's classic here. So it's like being in a bubble, like bubble situation. <laughs>
a good sign, it's easy to find a bathroom. <laughs> that is impossible, yes. I always have trouble finding bathrooms on cruise ships, but I was easy to find one as soon as I got on board. So that is a, you get a thumbs up for that. Um, the elevator situation, what's the elevator situation? So they are super small, um, but one thing I will say is not a crowded area, so that's a plus. So elevators are pretty small, four elevators in this bay, bank of elevators, and then there's a, another bank of elevators in the front of the ship. We are in the aft bank of the elevators, um, pretty tight. You may be able to get five to six people in those elevators. Um, mm. One thing I will say is we are heading for the Court of Indecisions buffet. Do we count that? <laughs> we do count that. All right, so that's two. Two Jimmy Buffett. Cool. We've seen more than two because all the decks are named, but so Cheeseburger and Paradise Bar and 5 o'clock somewhere Bar and Grill. Uh, what do you think about this color palette? Uh, it is interesting, to say the least. This is, this is the longest green I've ever seen. Absolutely. So, one thing that does not go away is washy washy, so. <laughs> All right, so there's another set of restrooms as soon as you walk in and after you wash your hands. Wow, easy. Easy. Just easy. I love, the, I love the easiness of being able to find a bathroom. <laughs> All right, so it looks like with, as far as three drink options, you have lemonade, fruit punch, and unsweet tea and water. Sunkiss lemonade. Ooh, wait, sunkiss. All right. So let's take a, a lap here and see what we are looking at as far as food. Then we'll come back and grab food and get something to eat. I don't. Uh, These are your dessert options: mango cake, chocolate imperial, cheesecake, sugar-free sugar cheesecake, and carrot cake. All right. So we have some rice, pork, and peas, beef stew, pork tenderloin, bird egg, chicken casserole, and fish and salsa. Anything here, draw your eye. Um, I will try the beef stew, the rice and peas. I will try. I'm just trying to eliminate oh, everything. you trying? Look, look yeah. at you. I'll just try it. We also have is this some a kettle or chicken is this noodle a crock soup. Pot? It's a soup kettle. Chicken noodle soup here. I've never seen that before. Vegetarian options. Um, so we have white rice, vegetarian aloo gobi, string beans, and grilled vegetables. The grilled vegetables look really good. We have a sandwich bar here, so we have some buns. Um, they are pre-made holy rolls or slider buns. You got turkey, ham, and bologna. Then you have your vegetables, so you can choose your vegetables, make your own sandwiches. Are you aware that my own kind of don't roll really nice? Unless you got buns for No. Sorry. Over here is your salad bar. So you got an antipasta, BLT pasta bar, coleslaw, greens, spring mix, vegetable options, and assorted dressings. Not assorted dressings. That's what it said. It looks like this is the same options on the opposite side, but they also have a carving station there, and it looks like they have turkey. You know I'm gonna try that. Why do you, do you like turkey or I something? I love turkey. I do. I think turkey is an underrated meat, and people do not enjoy it enough. Well, people. <laughs> people have massacred that turkey so far. You also have pigs in a blanket. You have some grilled onions and some all beef hot dogs. Pigs in a blanket? Yeah. So I'm definitely going to try those. I pigs in a blanket. And there's a machine to grill your hot dog buns. That's a new one. Yeah. But let's talk toppings. Sliced pickles, cheese, sauerkraut, and then it looks like parmesan. So yeah, you do have some great options. We're gonna leave it small alone. Yeah, I will say this so far: the food options don't look as bad as people made it out to be. But I haven't tasted it yet. Mm -hmm. Looks can be deceiving. The keyword: don't look bad. I said don't look. <laughs> so they have a seafood pasta, chicken alfredo, pasta bolognese. So it's a pasta bar. Are you? No, 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 you're fine, you're fine. And that's a uh, pasta on demand. Hi, how are you? Thank you. Thank you. Ice cream? That's good to know. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> and then there's a five o'clock somewhere bar. And also, 
also cheeseburger in paradise. So you get cheeseburger and french fries. This is on the app. This is on the app of the ship. And then there's a top of the bar there. Also, there's a little stage over there for people to perform. So I think that's really cool. Mm. To your right. And here in the back of the ship, there's some seating options. And you're going to have more seating options in the back just because it's out in the sun and it's hot. Um, not right now. Thank you. hurricane over the top of it and there's a huge blender and then every I think it's like once an hour the blender turns on and it's, there's a storm and then all of a sudden the, it starts making uh, margaritas in the blender so it's pretty interesting is it to legit see. margaritas no it's not legit margaritas but that's what it's made out of it but it's giant let's go find something to eat let's see how this food is okay all right, so I got uh, chicken alfredo from the pasta bar. Uh, it's got it with tomatoes. It came with like cauliflower uh, and something else. I can't remember. So, just, so. The apple taste. The apple taste is like garlic. Nail polish. This is the pork, this is some of the grilled onions. Um, this is the turkey, string beans. This rice and peas does have, does have pork in it, so be aware. This is like a stewed chicken casserole. And then there's some beef stew and uh, grilled veggies. So I just got a little sampling of everything. So I'm just gonna taste it. This is the, the chicken casserole. It's not bad, it has flavor. That's good, you can tell it's been seasoned. Rice and peas with pork. The pork in it is good. The rice is a little mushy. So that's good. Uh, grilled veggies. It's good, but need some salt. I'll come back. I'll come back. Some turkey. Need some salt, pepper. but it's, it's more. 
voice because it's dark. So, and I will say it was under that. In a minute. It was under that light, so you expect it to be a little dried out, but it's actually not. This is a pork tenderloin with the mango salsa. Before I make it a decision. So that may be what's drawing that. And then the pig in a blanket. That's actually good. Mm. I'm gonna pass on that bit, though. Alright. Oh, wrong. I'll give it a six. A six? So, well, it's going to be a great number curve here because did you come with the expectation that it was going to be bad? Mm -hmm. So, you know, a great number curve. I think 70% of the things on my plate are great. They have good flavor. Well, they're good. I'm not going to say they're great. They have good flavor. Um, there's only like a couple of things I would probably add salt and pepper to. The rest I would eat as is. So that's why I'm giving it a six. Um, I mean, if I'm gonna compare it to like a carnival or a Royals, I'm giving it a six. Hope you enjoyed your meal. So I'm here to find out cheeseburger and paradise burger better than guys burger on corn. Um, we're a we don't really like guys burger kind of family. Mm. Uh, it's not worth the hype. Don't let Philip Neal tell you any different. Oh. The ultimate shade of it all. Yeah, the cheeseburger and paradise burger is better than the guys burger. It is not. <laughs> that is all? That's it. <laughs> um, it's a it's a lunchroom, high school lunchroom burger. Oh. So he's burger in paradise. What's the opposite of paradise? Cheeseburger in Hades. Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's not. It's not great. All right. So on deck nine here, you have Cino, where my wife apparently is elated. <laughs> can't contain herself. I can't. All right. I mean, we're going to do a thing where yeah, we got to come back and pull that. Uh, sure. Yeah. Why not? Congratulations to the member of the month, Kathy B. Thank you so much for your support, Parkers on the Go. All of those covered with all.